For this part, we're going to discuss how to basically create a project and do- download the CryEngine version that you choose, which would be 5. And then also we will discuss how to go to the marketplace, install a sample asset, and then get it up and running inside of your engine. So we've got a lot to cover. Let's get to it. To begin, we can click New Project. It'll say it's so empty in here. Why don't you go on and create a project? So it's the same thing as creating a new one in both of these in which we can click. So if I click that, I go to the Create Project tab. And in this, we have C++ and we have C Sharp. For this tutorial, we're just going to do C++, and we only have CryEngine 5 currently. So we have a blank template, and then we also have the C Sharp stuff. So let's go ahead and just do the C++ blank template, and we're going to choose it and name it Test Project. And now what we need to do is we need to choose the file location. Unlike before with Steam, we can go anywhere. So let's go ahead and choose a place. Let's go on our system D, and then we'll go ahead and create a new folder and call this cryengine underscore launcher. And with that selected, we'll click OK. So now we have the D cryengine launcher. This can be in the C drive or any other drive that you have. And if we go, we can't actually create the project. So we need to select the blank project to do so. Once we create the project, it says the engine download is required. So to do so, if we click there, it says we must download the engine first. So let's download the engine. And if we go up top here and we click in here, we can notice that the engine is being downloaded. Depending on your connection to the internet, it may take a little while. We have a faster connection here at the Crytek office. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and wait for it to finish. With the engine now installed, we're ready to go into CryEngine with our test project. In order to do so, we would normally just click on this tab. Before doing anything, let's go over the options with the test project before jumping into the editor. First we have here where we can edit the project. This allows us to edit the engine version and also the name. Plus we can remove the project. If we go back, we can also click this button, which will reveal it in the Explorer. And if we look here, we have the CryEngine Launcher, which has all of our code and our assets, the game, whatever our project is, inside of this. So what we can do is now open this project by clicking. And this will allow you to open the project inside of the new CryEngine interface. We're going to go ahead and minimize the launcher for the moment. And what we can do is go ahead and create a new level. So let's do it in uh, test project. And I'm going to make it really small, 256. I'm going to keep the texture as well. This will allow us to launch it faster. So opening this up, we don't have anything because it's the most blank install C++ we possibly can do. And if we go into now the launcher, now with everything installed, we're ready to go into the Marketplace to get some assets. So if I were to click on the Marketplace, we can go to the Marketplace, and let's go ahead and click on Residential Buildings. What I can do is add to the cart, and this will allow us to see that it's been added to our shopping cart and we want to check out now. So I'm going to agree to all of my account information. I'm also going to agree to the Terms of Service. And it says that my purchase has been complete and has been added to the launcher. So if I go to my assets, I can see something like my residential buildings. And I want to install these. So let's go ahead and skip through it. It's not too long. And if we click on this, we can say reveal in the explorer. And now we have a pack file. So let's go ahead and copy these. And what we want to do is go back to our project, and let's reveal that. So we can see inside of here we have assets. Let's go ahead and create one just with a pack file of the residential buildings we have. So we're going to press Control-C, 
Control V. With this inside of there, what we're going to do is click on the test project, which will bring us into the engine. I'm going to minimize the launcher. I already have a recent file, it's just a test project to get us in there. We have the replace me because it's a blank project. If we go to brush, assets, objects, we can now see that we have our residential buildings. So if I drag in my barrel and I press the G key to frame up, we can see that we have a barrel in the scene. To quickly illustrate the point, let's go into the environment editor and maybe not make it 12 o'clock noon. So we can see the barrel a little bit better. And this will be the case for any of the CGFs. You'll also notice that we have some LODs. You don't want to load those. You strictly want to load the main props. If we go to our fishing house, we do fishing house A, and by double clicking and zoom out, now we have the fishing house that typically was speaking would be in the woodlands level or would have been in the forest level way back. So this is the process of just downloading simple assets inside of your new project after you've downloaded the engine, created your project, and then gotten some assets that we provide for free. So I hope you enjoyed this quick starter pack uh, introduction as far as creating the projects and getting your stuff up and running. We'll go into greater depth in another video on how exactly to get Game SDK up and running because that's going to be what everybody wants to jump into and have all the mechanics from Crisis 3 so they can build up and maybe their engine or their mechanics for their own development step by step.